If it comes to military action, this may be ground zero. Iran's underground nuclear fuel plant near the holy city of Qom, buried so deep there are doubts even the biggest U.S. or Israeli bombs can get to it. Israel and the United States seem to be at odds about what comes next. Defense Minister Ehud Barak talks openly about a possible military strike. If Israel does a unilateral strike, this could be a real problem for the national security interests. And inside the administration, more mixed signals. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta let it be known he believes Israel could strike this spring. But in an NBC interview, the president seems to disagree. I don't think that Israel has made a decision on what they need to do. But as Iran begins another round of military exercises, some U.S. officials say the back and forth between Israel and the U.S. is a pressure tactic against Iran. The U.S. intelligence community has its own warning. Iran's technical advances, particularly in uranium enrichment, Strengthen our assessment that Iran is more than capable of producing enough highly enriched uranium for a weapon if its political leaders, specifically the Supreme Leader, choose to do so. The CIA is tracking several highly classified indicators of where Iran's nuclear program stands. What I, we think would be evident if there is a decision to uh, enrich beyond the 20 percent uh, that they are currently enriching to, uh, to the weapons grade uh, would be very significant. The president tells NBC perhaps more significant the politics inside Iran. I think we have a very good estimate of when they could potentially achieve breakout capacity, what stage they're at in terms of processing uranium. Uh, but do we know all the dynamics inside of Iran? Absolutely not. Some U.S. intelligence officials say sanctions are beginning to bite at Iran's economy. But the question may be whether they will bite enough before Iran makes the decision about whether or not to go nuclear. Barbara Starr, CNN, the Pentagon.